One of the best ways for an athlete to make mad cash is through signing deals with some of the biggest brands like Nike, Adidas, and Puma. But unfortunately for some athletes, there comes a time when they lose their endorsement, and that's recently happened in the realm of the NBA. So in this video, we're going to be telling you about who lost out on their deal and why. Let's get right into it. First up, Kyrie's now a sneaker-free agent. What was initially a suspension has now turned into a full-blown separation, as Nike and Kyrie Irving have officially parted ways. Just after the brand scrapped the release of the Kyrie 8, in November, they decided they wanted nothing to do with Irving, and as per the point guard's agent, Chatelia Riley Irving, the decision was a mutual one. Kyrie's endorsement deal with the company was set to extend all the way to the 1st of October 2023, but since it was cut short by 11 months, Irving's reportedly gonna lose out on millions of dollars. Next up, why did Nike decide to take such a strict measure? Kyrie's been making the headlines for all the wrong reasons for quite a few years now, but especially in the past two years. He's a walk-in controversy at this point, and it seems as if he's always involved in some some form of off-court drama. In the past, people would eventually sweep his antics under the rug and try to move forward, but this time, that simply wasn't possible. Toward the end of October, the point guard took to Twitter to share a link to a documentary full of anti-Semitic themes, such as Holocaust denial and claims of an international Jewish conspiracy. Along with the link, he stated that history must not be hidden from anybody. This caused an insane amount of backlash, and even that's putting it lightly. To make matters worse, he refused to apologize straight away, and instead doubled down on his comments at first. He said that by sharing the tweet, he didn't do anything illegal, nor did he hurt anybody or say that he specifically hates one group of people. Afterward, Kyrie also posted on Twitter that he's an omnist, so he supports all religions and even added that the anti-Semitic label is not justified. However, Irving's actions disappointed the Nets organization and others, resulting in the team suspending the athlete without pay on the 3rd of November for a minimum of five games. Then, Nike announced they would also suspend Irving, and now they've officially cut ties with each other. Coming up, what has Nike said about the situation? When the company made the decision of suspending the point guard, they announced that at Nike, they firmly believed that there was no place for anti-Semitism or hate speech of any kind in their company, and even canceled the launch of the much-anticipated Kyrie 8s. Plus, they added that they were deeply saddened by the incident and its effect on the Jewish community. After the suspension, Nike CEO Phil Knight even made it known that there was a low chance of the two working together ever again. He stated that Kyrie stepped over the line and made statements that the company couldn't accept, so he was fine with not being associated with the athlete anymore. More. Following that, is Nike being hypocritical? Many people, especially fans of Kyrie, have found Nike's move to be nothing more than a face-saving measure designed to make themselves look good in the public eye. Why? Because many have accused Nike of using forced labor and sweatshops in Asia for years. Besides the fans pointing this out, even Irving's former teammate Jalen Brown posted a now-deleted tweet asking, since when did Nike care about ethics? We don't know for sure what the working conditions are like currently, but we do know that if they're as bad as people have claimed, then Nike's in no position to take the moral high ground and act as if they're the most ethical company in the world. But if the conditions aren't horrible, as claimed by Nike, and we doubt that's true, then it's fair that they decided to cut ties with the seven-time All-Star. Moving on, let's take a closer look at how fans are reacting to the situation. Besides members of the Jewish community, most fans are actually pretty annoyed and even angered by the decision. The Twitter page rap announced the separation, and the replies are pretty wild. Of course, as is usual with NBA Twitter, people made lots of memes and said that Kyrie's definitely gonna be signing with Yeezy, because Ye's been making rap for saying some shockingly anti-Semitic things as of late, but the vast majority of the other replies were fans stating that they stand with Kyrie and will continue to support him no matter what. One such reply got over 1.6 thousand likes, while another sharing the same sentiment got over 360. And as we told you earlier, a lot of them were calling out Nike for the alleged sweatshops and slave labor in China, with one of these replies getting over 3,000 likes. And most importantly, they pointed out that Nike was still advertising their shoes on Amazon, a site that stated that they will not stop selling the documentary that Irving shared, and even pointed towards Shaq's movie theater showing it, yet only Kyrie's being villainized. Other fans also pointed out how Balenciaga has done much worse than Irving, yet Nike hasn't cut ties with them. Though one user said that if people feel so strongly about child labor and poor working conditions, then shouldn't they have boycotted Nike from the beginning? The user then stated that it seemed more as if the fans are upset over the brand dropping the point guard, rather than the horrible working conditions. Up next, how has Kyrie reacted to the situation? Immediately after Nike announced the breaking news, Kyrie posted a gif on Twitter which said that there's nothing more priceless than being free. Then when it came to play a game, Irving went ahead and covered the Nike logo on his Kyrie 3s and wrote, logo here, while on the other side he wrote, I am free, thank you God, I am. The point guard's clearly quite happy not to be associated with the brand anymore, even though he's losing millions of dollars because he's one of those people who'll always put his freedom of expression before all else. Coming up, will Nike regret this decision? The Kyries were by far Nike's most popular shoes because they look 
great and are super comfortable. That's why his shoes always made the brand a ton of money. But now that he's gone, they've started selling his shoes with major discounts. And once they're all sold out, they'll lose out on a lot of customers. That's especially the case because lots of people are just generally unhappy with the decision. Plus, Kyrie shoes are super popular among NBA players. And according to kickstats.com, 164 players have worn the Kyrie 7 so far. Only time will tell, but it seems as if Nike has only done more harm than good to itself with its decision. Following that, who will Kyrie sign with next? As Kyrie's currently a sneaker-free agent, one of the topics of discussion has been about which brand he's going to join. There are lots of options such as Adidas, Puma, Under Armour, and New Balance. But right now, Irving's surrounded by too much controversy for any brand to want to take him in straight away. Though he's a really well-known athlete at the end of the day, and despite everything, he still has a lot of die-hard supporters. So whoever signs him will definitely be making more profit. We think that Adidas, Nike's rival, might go for him, but only once things have finally settled down. Now, let's look at who Nike can replace Kyrie with. Starting off, can Ja Morant fill the void that Irving left? Since Nike has basically lost their golden goose in Kyrie, they're obviously desperate to find a worthy successor, and luckily for them, they already have one, and his name's Ja Morant. There are only 22 players in the NBA who take the court in shoes named after themselves, with four of them being Nike athletes. Ja set to become the 23rd player in the NBA and the fifth Nike athlete to be given this massive privilege. Ja's a young, exciting, and athletic point guard, who almost everyone loves because he's basically a walking highlight reel at this point. He can run coast to coast and finish with an insane dunk and act like it was nothing. So that's why he's insanely popular among kids, teens, and young adults. Given Morant's clout at such a young age, when he hasn't even entered his prime, there are no doubts in our mind that the 23-year-old can help Nike make up for the money they'll lose from cutting ties with Irving. Though, at the same time, Morant's not as popular or well-known as Irving if you compare the two, so it might be a slow process. But it'll definitely be worth it if Ja continues to go off on teams and stays healthy. Moving on, why else is Ja a good replacement for Kyrie? Dudes like LeBron and Giannis have their shoes built to accommodate their sheer strength and athleticism. But deep down, most people know they don't need such shoes, nor would they want sneakers that feel like they have bricks taped to the soles. That's why Kyrie's were so loved. His crafty play style and more regular proportions made for some amazing shoes that anyone could enjoy. And since Ja's pretty similar to Irving in terms of build, size, and play style, that means that his shoes are likely to be designed in the same way as well. So Nike may just be able to recover from the loss of Kyrie if they can replicate what made his shoes so special. Finally, does Morant deserve a signature shoe? We definitely think so. He's been on a tear ever since his rookie season, and he's one of the most promising players in the league, who many think will win MVPs and championships in the years to come. Jaws already achieved so much in just three seasons, as he was the Rookie of the Year, made the All-Star Game in his sophomore season, while also making the All-NBA second team and winning the Most Improved Player Award the same year. He's a bona fide superstar in the making. That's a wrap for this video. Do you support Nike's decision, or are you on Irving's side? Let us know in the comments below. As always, remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.